Hello! Happy Memorial Day. We're back. Starting a new series here, here at the channel, Mixtapes and Mistakes. We're doing a 50 States mixtape series. So we're starting with Alabama, because it's the state I'm most familiar with. And I have set up a, a set of criteria that I wanted to do for this series. There are going to be songs from artists from each state. There are going to be songs that are about specific cities in each state. And there will be songs that, at least one song in every mixtape will be a song that you didn't know was about a certain state, till you're like, oh, that's about that state. There are going to be songs also that, that uh, I can't avoid. Uh, in a lot of other series, what I try to do is not uh, put songs on mixtapes that I think are like low hanging fruit, like songs that everybody's heard that maybe are kind of overplayed, or that maybe uh, songs that it's just like, eh. But in most cases, the songs that you're going to hear on a lot of mixtapes about these states are going to be songs you've probably heard before. So, to begin this list, we're going to talk about uh, probably the song that everyone who will ever find this video or this mixtape will have heard into perpetuity, Sweet Home Alabama. If you didn't think I was not going to start this mixtape with that song, you were sadly mistaken. It is low hanging fruit. It's one of those songs that everybody's heard uh, in a lot of different contexts. I think it belonged on this list. So there it is. I also decided to include a song. But what I found when I did a lot of research, there weren't a lot of songs about cities south of Montgomery, for example. So, but I wanted to include Never Gonna Change by Drive By Truckers because it does make reference to uh, South Alabama. There's also a lyric in there that, I, that though I love this song, I'm always uh, interchanged because it fits. So, uh, when Jason Isbell wrote this song, he wrote it about uh, the Colbert County Jailhouse. I always affectionately say, you can lock me in the Coffee County Jailhouse. Um, but I love that song. It, it's it's gritty, it's dirty, and it it uh, it is to turn the phrase or or, or from an, an album that I'm also affectionate about. It is in a lot of ways uh, Southern culture on the skits. Next song I'm going to talk about here, uh, which I think actually is the the gem of this mixtape and the song that you uh, that like I said in the criteria where there's going to be a song that you didn't know was about that state here's this song so we're going to talk about Seven Bridges Road by the Eagles which I didn't know until I was doing research for this uh, series that Seven Bridges Road is about an actual road in the city of Montgomery Alabama or leading out of Montgomery Alabama some say uh, called Woodley Road now, according to Song Facts, uh, Hank Williams Jr. tends to think it's about it's a that Seven Bridges Road will lead you to Oak, Oak, Oakdale, Oakland Cemetery, where Hank Williams Sr. is buried. Um, some people say that it will just lead you straight out of town. There are a lot of different ideas about where Seven Bridges Road goes. But the history of the song is actually kind of interesting. So this song was written, originally written by Steve Young, who wasn't a native of Montgomery, but happened to be living here uh, when he was recording and working on it back in 1969. So he played this song at a Montgomery gig, and people got it, because they're like, oh, we know what that is. We know what you're talking about. And it's been, Woodley Road has been kind of known as Seven Bridges Road, as far back as the 1860s. Is that back then when Steve Young drove Ridley Road or Woodley Road, it had a lot of Spanish moss, it has a lot of a lot of graveyards, a lot of churches. And he put it on his album called uh, Rock Salt and Nails. Because the producer wanted covers, he didn't want a bunch of originals. And so they worked on it, and he threw it out there, and they're like, okay, well, we'll use it. 
So the Eagles end up taking the arrangement that's actually the interesting about the Eagles arrangement is so Mike Nesmith from the Monkees wrote a really cool acapella vocal arrangement for it uh, by Fairport Convention and I didn't find that for this one this, 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 that actually might end up on in the cover song series because Seven Bridges Road is an all time is is in retrospect an all time cover version because the Eagles take it and turn it into their song and there's a clip on YouTube because it was it used to be the clip that was floating around a long time ago where you can see the Eagles using it and they used to use it as a warm up uh, for their shows because it's just a great it, it, it tests your range you uh, it tests your lungs it's a, it's a really good like if you weren't ready to sing that's the the, the, the beginning of that song is, the, is one of the the great you know let's get ready situations in all the music in a category I affectionately call songs that you can't make today I included Brick House by the Commodores they're from Tuskegee Alabama I um Brickhouse, the interesting thing about Brickhouse to me is is that it's not a song that Lionel Richie sings lead on. Lionel Richie actually uh, plays saxophone on that song, uh, which I thought was super interesting because it's just like, here's this multi-talented musician who is kind of in the background, but the sax is, is integral to that song. So it's amazing. I included... To give you to, I'm talking about one modern song for a second that I know everybody's heard obnoxiously, and I had to include it because they're actually from Birmingham, Alabama. I included "Save Me" by Remy Zero on this list because it's a song that everybody that I know everybody's heard uh, almost to be obnoxious about it. And, to, and listening to the entire song, it's actually a pretty good song. It's 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 one of those songs where you just heard the beginning of it and you're like, oh, I wish I'd know what the rest of that song is. I want to close up uh, this edition of the 50 States mixtape series here in Alabama, uh, talking about when a man loves a woman by Percy Sledge. He's from Leeton, Alabama. That song has been used in a lot of films. In fact. Uh, uh, there's a great movie with Andy Garcia in it called When a Man Loves a Woman which is actually like it's a really tear-jerking movie it's one of the best movies of the late 80s early 90s I do recommend people watching it but what I love about that song and why that song is iconic and you can say the same thing about uh uh Otis Redding, which who I could have included on this list, or Sam Cooke, um, they got it. Like you, when you listen to that song, Percy Sledge is singing to somebody. Like he's he's talking about something he lived, and you can you can you can hear his emotion on the track, and that's what to me is the the. The greatest thing about songs from uh, the 50s, 60s, and early 70s is that it's what it's what Bob Dylan used to term uh, called "blood on the tracks," which is another great Bob Dylan record. But it's about just leaving your emotion on a piece of music, so that you know. And if it's great, it'll stand the test of time. People will be like, "Wow, I can you can still and you can still feel Percy Sledge's emotion." 30, 40, 50 years later, you're like, oh, now that man loves that woman, you know. And if you, if it's a great song for telling somebody or, or, or expressing the idea that this man loves this woman. It's just, oof, just chills when you hear it. But that's, uh, that's this edition of uh, Mixtapes and Mistakes, the Alabama edition of the Mix of the 50 State Series. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, we're doing Alaska next. You think I can't find songs for Alaska? You're sadly mistaken. 
I'm bringing you Alaska next. So uh, have a peaceful Sunday. We'll catch you later.